with each thing, each decision, there are certain constraints. So at eye level, pretty much everything is going to be pa pretty parallel. I mean, if you're at exactly eye level, of course, everything is, you know, completely parallel to the picture plane. If you're above eye level, of course, instead of the your painting reading from left to right or right to left, you'd have, the movement would be in and out. So you're 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 letting the, your canvas, in other words, you're letting your painting tell you, uh, exercising your taste and judgment whether that how that mass fits mass of filled space fits the mass of empty space, you see. So it it something not to to rush into. We'll see how the rest of the the painting works out. And what I would like to do is also get a highlighting It's always good to get in a highlight because it you could see where to go in the picture, in your painting. It, it gives you a, a range of values. And the highlight would lead to the next highlight back back there. So, uh, So you, you start the finish, start the finish and then finish the start. See, so then the next highlight would be in the, highlights are always on corners as I've been saying. So this would be the corner where the plane changes direction. That would be with the next change of direction you know, it goes in, then comes back out and then on the lip Ultimately, see, so you could just wash the light across, across the top and get my symmetry looking at that side. Every, every object, the sequence of a hard edge, disregard that care shadow, and then a soft edge where it's turning. In light, light and shadow, as I was just saying, so the shadow, the shadow holds the light. And the darkest shadow, as I said, is closest to the light by virtue of reflected light. So wherever you pitch your shadow, I mean, I'd like this to be a little darker. But it doesn't matter. But let's say, so if this, yeah. And you have to paint your shadow in as though it's a wall that the light can't get past. The simpler and stronger your shadow, the stronger your painting will be. So the function, one of the other functions of the highlight besides telling us where there's a corner, so there's a corner here is to take the eye away from the edge. So if you soften the edge and take the eye away from the edge, then you, you get, that's what gives you the illusion of form.
So there you have it. <laughs>